Uh, yeah. One last ride for you here. Uh, just, could you describe some of the differences between spring camp from a coaching perspective? Oh, yeah. Uh, new staff compared to the whole side. Just what's different? Um, I would just say, like, the different groups of people they brought in. Um, you know, the staff last year, they were, a lot of them knew each other. Um, so, you know, getting guys from the league, from other schools, uh, head coach, you know what I'm saying, Coach Ants. Um, you know, different variety of coaches, I would say. And, um, they bring up the different fire. And try to bring new things to the table, allow us to, um, you know, put input in. I think that's a big thing for sure. Yeah, I'm just curious, what's it like playing for Coach Ants? I know you've been asked that a million times, right. but uh, have you learned anything new since you last week? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I mean, it started with... You know, just the stance part, um, you know, just making sure our feet are right. I think that was another thing he wanted to bring back was make sure our fundamentals are correct. And a lot of time you get carried away, especially if you transfer from other schools, um, just playing how you were used to playing. Um, so just getting us back to our fundamentals, I think that was my favorite thing about him is like feeling like fun playing that How much better than And it, it's, man, you know, it's, it's so fun just thinking like, so excited to get back to fall camp. Um, just from spring, you know, the progress we made, um, just even in our, our own practices that we run, um, playing 7 on 7 with the offense, it's been a big difference. Um, you know, with guys stepping up, making plays, you just feel the tightness in coverage. And, um, so that, that's the biggest difference for me. You mentioned having fun. What, what, what's been fun about uh, these last few weeks? Sorry, let me turn my ring off. Um, um, yeah, I mean, the competition's a lot higher, I feel like. Um, you know, defense is competing a lot more. Um, so I think that's it right there. The group seems closer to me, like, tight knit than more mm -hmm. so than last year. What, why is that? Do you feel the same? Um, yeah, I mean, we, we were put through a lot of adversity this spring. Um, winter workouts was, you know, we were moving a lot. You guys seen us at the beach. And, um, you know, when you wake up and not know what to expect, all you can expect is that your brother's going to be there for you. Um, and we're going to push through it. I think that was the biggest thing. Like, hey, I'm with you. you know, we're doing this together. And then, shoot, we did it. So. What's it like playing for the um, He's a quiet guy. Yeah. It's kind of funny. Um, you know, he says some things on the side that's under his breath. Um, but he's not a very, you know, very vocal guy. Um, but... You know, he knows his stuff, and I think that's – he carries himself in a different way than, than most coaches I've involved myself with. Um, and he just loves skiing. He, he's, a, he's a genius in that, in that way. So. Yeah, so have you had a chance to watch much film with him? And um, yeah, I mean, we've, we've, we've gotten film him a couple of times. Um, and it, the way he explains stuff is just – I don't know. He, he has a great way of, of, of laying it out and making it easier for us to understand. Um, I mean, he doesn't have to repeat himself. He says one thing, and it's like, okay, easy. Right? Is that the big, when you say genius, is that really the biggest thing that he's... Like, yeah, I think he's, he's a football genius. He loves the game of football. Um, you know, he's around us all the time. You know, he's always here. So I think that, that that's really, like, he wants to bring everyone together, too. What have been your impressions of this uh, he's, he's one of my best friends right now on the team. Um, we love to do a lot of the same things. Um, you know, play basketball, go golfing. He took me golfing not too long ago. Um, just like to be outside and enjoy life. So, you know, me and him clicked really well, and I'm, I'm excited for this year for us. I'm sure you've seen him talk about tackling, but is the team doing anything differently from a tackling perspective? Um, yeah, I mean, we, we put a lot of emphasis on that, and, um, you know, if something wasn't a tackle, making sure that we know that it's a tackle, and, you know, to make a better step to, to keep your angle and stuff like that. So, Do you remember what your reaction was when Dante Lynn got hired? The site man was like, we'll see. Um, yeah, I mean, I didn't know too much about him at the time. Um, so it was, it was for sure, we'll see. And then, you know, the more information I got to know, uh, meeting him and stuff like that, I was really excited about it. What's been one of the biggest challenges that you kind of learned from last year coming into this year? What can you be more well prepared for? Right, right. Um, I think just making sure the little things are, are taken care of. Um, you know, towards the beginning of the season, you don't think that everything matters. Um, then later you find out that everything does. And I think for us last year, that was that was a problem. Um, you know, that we weren't we weren't doing everything 100% um, the same way we wanted to. Um, sticking to the standards, and I think that's something this year. I'm not letting nothing slide, so. What's that team chemistry feeling like right now, like weeks away from the first Oh, it, it's, uh, we're excited, man. You know, everyone's excited to be back. Um, shoot, I only went home for one, one what, like 48 hours, just so I could be back here with the guys. So we're excited, for sure. One of the big things coming into the season is that, you know, Big Ten's a lot more physical. Mm -hmm. right, so is that something that you use as motivation? I mean, yeah, play the game for physicality. That's what I do. Um, playing linebacker, I love to hit. I love to go against bigger guys. Like, that's a challenge for me. And, you know, let's do it. Um, 
I played in the Big 12, but against Texas, big guy, so, um, you know, it ain't nothing new. Did you kind of see that, that it is a little more physical, or do you think that's just kind of um, media talking? No, I think, it, I mean, you know, watching film and stuff like that, it, and everyone's physical. You know, Washington last year was physical. The O line was was good. Um, so I mean, I played against a lot of a lot of really good O linemen at Baylor. Um, so yeah, I don't think it's anything. Are you angry heading into this season? Just what, what angry? Emotions? Not. Uh, anger is never never fuel for me. Um, but disappointment from you know the the ability that we had last year. Um, that was that's what's going to motivate me. Is you know you have everything in in line here and. Um, you just have to make decisions to, to follow, follow the, the, you know, the coach that want, coach wants us, and, and we can make it. That was the frustrating thing. It's just like we were right here. Just a few couple, you know, a few, few couple of fixes of, of attitudes of you know, things off the field, and it could change. I mean, you can change everything. You can see it in the spring, just guys stepping up just from handling stuff outside of football, and then we started to carry on to the field. And I think that's so good. Have you noticed any differences in Lincoln Riley last year, last spring around this time to right now? Is he acting differently, saying anything differently? Any, any differences with him? Um, I mean, I feel like he's stepped back a little bit. Um, you know, I think it's it a big time that the players have been able to be more vocal um, in, you know, handling that accountability stuff. Um, Coach Riley, too. So I think he, he knows that his, his job is to, to, you know, be a leader for us, and we just have to follow him. I think he understands that. Yeah, and you play you play with another veteran. Um, the game always right. You play with all you know, of Pac-12. Um, similar, we have similar seasons this year at uh, OG State. Um, we need all conference. You know, we need that transfer. So we have a very similar story. We talked about it. And when he does that same fire I do, um, playing linebacker with someone like that, it just it elevates your game. You want to compete every day, even if, if that's in the weight room, you know, on the field, sled pools, we're racing every time. So it's, you know, someone like that can, and he's, he's, he's elevated my game for sure. What do you think this last year? Um, I wouldn't say that, um, but you know, for me, it was it was just not feeling like I had somebody to know what they, they were doing next to me. Um, you know, in practice, in it, you know, we built trust in practice, and uh, you know, I didn't feel like I had that. Maybe that would, you know, make me make me jump out of gap sometimes, or you know, try and make a play that wasn't my play. And um, but to have somebody like that's going to be, you know, we built some some big trust in the spring. Yeah, excited about this spot. Feel like you're getting back to where you were before. Yeah, I mean, yeah, for sure. I mean, I'm, you know, been working on my hip flexor. Um, you know, that was that was a problem for me last year. Just every week, just trying to get back to the game. Um, so yeah, I feel really healthy. I feel healthy. Yeah. Well, what's just the relationship in general? It's not like you guys are Yeah, the relationship that you have with all these men, you know, off your own, off the field. Kind of that dynamic. I think you guys are pretty similar. Right. Yeah, yeah. We're we're a lot similar, but we're different in a lot of ways. We um, complement each other. Um, we like to call ourselves yin and yang. So like, if he's going, if he's down, I'm down. You know, I'm picking him up and. I'm down, he's picking me up. Um, and it's been like the all spring, and, uh, and I'm excited to see what that like, carries on in the fall. Um, we got handshakes going on, we got, you know, fire going on, and we're running out there just competing against young guys, you know, just lining up. What's the handshake? Oh, y'all have to see, you have to wait. Yeah, have to wait, yeah. Right time, right moment. What's, what is the like how do you feel like what do you feel like your strengths you know yeah just in terms of the yeah vice versa um, yeah I mean he, he's, he's a very vocal guy um, definitely more vocal than I am um, so that, that's, that's a big thing for me um, and just understanding his team like he, he's obsessed with the game um, he always wants to learn and I'm the same way so you know he's quick like that he's like, if something's not right in the field we'll be like that or not come out like 
Let's figure this out. He said, he said there's a vision. I share mine. And, you know, Coach Hens is a, he's a guy in the upside. So. Coach Hens is talking about uh, just sharing that load. is taking a lot of Did you at all feel like you were overwhelmed um, times last year with that? At times it was like, you know, I didn't really know who I was playing with. Um, like I was always a uh, first start with me. Uh, you know, in building church practice, you're playing with a bunch of different people. You know, they, they communicate different, they play different. You know, you got to help some more than the other ones. Um, man, this is these guys follow all around, so that's for sure. This defense, uh, obviously, the confidence was low by the end of last season. How have you seen this new staff come in? How do we ignite that I mean, they all came with their own little, you know, pre-service shows. I think that was... That was it, and, you know, we don't really like to talk about last year. You know, just just because, you know, we moved on from that, we, you know, we're holding the teams, putting the coaches down. Um, for those guys, you know, we, we like to remind ourselves as players, but, like, you know, last year, you feel here on this defense, there was, there was something that we had to pay back, you know what I'm saying? To, to USC fans to like, uphold that standard of defense. You know, that, for sure. How have you seen this team get to the floor? Like right, with, with just some new players and coaches. Mm -hmm. um, with Jan. Right, yeah. Yeah, right. um, yeah I mean, they, they're, they're well running the game. They, they love football. Um, I think one thing is, is Coach A's perfection. So is Jan. They're you know, geniuses in the game. Um, and I love that they're always willing to teach. So I'm always willing to stop and pause and be like, you know, break it down. And they, they understand each player like, with Coach Ants. He understands each player is taught to me. He's going to talk to me in East and then he's going to talk to Newby or um, Dennis. I think that's big. That's just what the time of coaching and being around a lot of players, um, you kind of get that, that, that skill. As you head into this offseason, how much is everyone kind of talking about you know, we're moving to the Big Ten? There will be a more physical you know, style, or is that maybe a little bit I mean, I, I, they, they, they said that about. You know, they see the Big 12. Everyone, everyone says that you know, different conferences are going to be more physical. I mean, I'm all about just Cali. I love it so. Uh, they think that's what it is, and uh, I guess we'll find out. Does it feel to you like this team is there? Oh, oh yeah, we're, 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 we're front seven is, is big time. We, we've got a lot, a lot more weight behind us. I've been moving, you know, a lot more weight than I've ever lifted in my whole college career, and I feel. And you know, this offseason has been one of the best I've ever been a part of. What was it about the workout regimen that was um, just like working so well in that sense? Like, I think it was just they, 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 you know, they found a way to push us to our um, limits. Um, the GPS is amazing. Um, you know, they do a great job at keep track all that. Um, and be able to match our loads to practices, to, to games. You know, I think that's really impressive. Um, also, like our season training, we went to the beach. Um, we did a bunch of different stuff. Guys were you know, always prepared to, to attack that. We didn't, we didn't expect anything from it. Um, and that's what comes with game days. That's what comes with you know, playing in, in a new conference. Um, you know, we had to wake up extra early sometimes um, just to you know, kind of prepare for those games. I think that was a big thing for us. I know he's not your position coach, but I think we've seen Eric Henry. Presence on the staff. Oh, yeah. So it changed the I mean, mentality. Yeah, the, those guys are those guys are goats, man. Um, but they bring they bring like an old school kind of you know, football back to the game, like a smash mouth. Um, yeah, so I love that for sure. Yeah, thank you, appreciate it. How's it going? Thank you, man. Do you sense that there's kind of a different energy about this defense and, and really about this team going into this year? And how would you describe that? Um, yeah, like I said again, it's. I mean, the culture last year wasn't something that you know everyone was upholding and agreed to uphold. Um, and, you know, I had to do with a lot of the years, just letting stuff slide, not thinking. You know, everything mattered. Um, coming into a new, you know, a new place, and, and it was just a transitional thing, I think. So, but this year, I think a lot of guys have been here. You know, a lot of transfers have you know, understood what we're trying to do here uh, and hopped on board and everyone's on board. So. How would you describe the identity that the defense is trying to, to get to on, on the field? Um, I, I, would, I would think we just, you know, we're trying to get to a, you know, we want to go on the field every three nights at a time. It's, 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 a, it's a, a dominant, dominant you know, identity we want to have. Um, very communicative, like physical, um, just attacking. Broad, broadly speaking, uh, how would you describe the scheme that you guys are trying to implement? Uh, a lot of the coaches have talked about it being, you know, player friendly too. How have you seen that kind of? Play? I mean, in the terms of scheme, it's, they allow us to play you know, to our strengths and you know allow us to put input on the scheme. And I think that's the biggest thing I've, I've, I've loved to enjoy was 
um, you know, allowing us to tell them what we're good at, you know, them see it, and then, you know, implement it in this game. Eastern was talking about how you guys have meshed so well and yeah. played off each other. Kind of tell me about that from your perspective. Um, yeah, I mean, he's, he's a, a brother that I've always, you know, wish I had. You know, like, he loves to do a lot of stuff I do. Um, but he also likes to keep me in check. Um, same with me. So, I think it's a big, you know, you have guys that are good around the game, uh, know how it goes. They can still hit each other. Kind of when you guys see that and they big follow. So I think that's a big thing that we're bringing in a lot of other guys that can be uh, guaranteed at it. They're not, you know, following their own rules. They're doing what we're doing, and I think that's pretty good. Cool. What are some of the hobbies you see of Bonzo over there? Um, golfers. We actually went golfing not too long ago. Um, I'm not the best. He's, he's been a lot more than me, but, um, yeah, that's something we've been doing. Yeah. How long did it take for that connection that already clicked between the two? It just kind of clicked. You know, right when he got in, we, we just, you know, started talking. Very easy guy to talk to. Um, just kind of talking about stuff we like, where we came from. Um, you know, our, our, our previous season, our, our last season was very similar. Uh, my junior year, Oklahoma State, you know, being a, an all Big 12 player, him being an all Big 12 transfer right now, um, you know, trying to come, you know, fix the defense or, or so to call it. But, um, you know, we talked about it and how, you know, he had a you know, different coaching staff now than I had. And, you know, we brought our, our, you know, pieces together and kind of just. Uh, we, got, we got some to go for. That's our last year. And we might have a but on the field, that does not help you? No, oh, um, he's, he's yeah, yeah, not for sure. I mean, he very communicative, um, loud player, um, knows his stuff, and I think that, that helps anybody. If you're playing next to a veteran, uh, even on the O line, you know, got the guard next to you, you definitely take a lot of pressure. But last season, I was doing a lot of I, I saw you recently out there on the streets, kind of giving back to the community. When you see that, can you kind of put that in the context of you know, how difficult last season was compared to what's really difficult out in the real world? Oh, man, it's, it, it, I mean, football is, you can't compare it to, to you, know, you know, real life stuff. You know, it teaches you a lot of lessons, but um, in terms of, you know, giving back and you know, playing the game of football, I mean, you know, I look at it as when I was a kid, I seen college players as heroes. Uh, the NFL players as heroes here in the stories, but growing up with families with nothing, you know, with not a lot of money. Uh, so just being able to have the blessings I have and give back, I think that was the best thing. How much of that helps motivate you to make it feel better? Oh, it, it's big time. It's, you know, all those guys are all wishing me good luck. Um, they all know my name, so just knowing that I have people support me and I can, you know, be there to help them any way I can is a good time. You look back on last year and it assessed your season. What stood out to you? Mm. I think what stood out to me was the lessons. The lessons learned. Um, you know, I don't really think too much about the victories from last year. Um, I'm a sore ball this year. Um, I really hate losing. So that, that you know, I, I don't remember much of the wins, but I do remember the losses, and I think um, that's going to carry to this year. And I think just learning learning from mistakes is, is, is what it was. Sure. What was your, your self critique of your play? Um, really, it was just about me being 100% healthy and making sure that, you know, the coaches understand um, fully what I want to do. Um, and I think these coaches, man, like, like I said before, they're allowing us to input in scheme. And that's, man, it's not a little bit a part of it. So. What, what's, been, what's been Coach Ice's biggest strength to bring that out of you? Um, <sighs> You know, he, he kind of, like when I first got here, he, you know, it's a new coaching staff. You know, uh, Coach o, Odom, from last year, he kind of knew who I was, you know, I was building relationships and stuff like that. Um, so he kind of came in and was like, hey, this is how it's going to go. I'm going to handle all your stuff, and I'm going to be out your ear. And I was like, hey, no doubt. And it kind of went like that. It's been like that ever since. Um, you know, his, 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 his family's amazing. I um, met his wife a couple times. They might actually watch my dog uh, for fall camp, so we might see how that goes. Um, but just having a guy like that that's been around a lot of kids, he just has a certain, like, you know, a dad to him. He doesn't really like to, it's not more of a coach for him, it's more of a dad. Mm -hmm. So are you saying is this defense better fit for you than last year's team? I mean, the defensive scheme, I mean, it, it, it doesn't have a lot to do about the scheme, it's about just being in a position to, to make the plays for me, the, the best position I can be in. Like, and, I mean, these guys are putting me in them, so I'm excited. The spring has been fun, and I've been itching to get on, on the field again. So. You mentioned being fully healthy. Are you playing through it? Um, no, I just had a little um, hip flexor injury. I missed two games at the beginning of the season. And, um, you know, it was something I was bad on the whole, the whole season. Just trying to, like, make sure I was keeping up the strength through next year. Um, you know, cheering like that again. And I didn't I didn't really feel like myself until bowl game. Um, so, we'll see what's up. Thank you. Thank you.
Oh, what kind of dog was it? That's Belzy Mallow. Yeah, no, he's amazing. He's a rescue. So That's even better. I love, I've always had rescues growing up. Um, always had a dog in the house, so I had to get one. Yeah. Appreciate y'all. Yeah. Yeah.